Cade here from Cartoon Hangover. Today we're showing you a special day we had here at Frederator Studios. Hello, I'm Fred Seibert. I'm the founder of Frederator Studios, Frederator Books, and Frederator Everything. So we were originally over in a space on uh, 29th Street at tw Park Avenue South, and it was a loft space, about 2,500 square feet. There were only a couple of us, so I started inviting friends in um, who needed desks here and there for creative projects, and we ended up incubating a new internet company called Next New Networks, and eventually uh, our friend David Karp uh, came in, rented a space, and incubated Tumblr in that space. And as you can imagine, over a couple of years, Tumblr grew really rapidly. So they moved to 21st Street, and we moved in with our friends at Next New Networks on 21st Street. And eventually we sold that company to YouTube, and YouTube asked us to get out of there in like 30 or 60 days. So we looked around in the same building and took this space three floors down. We have lots of room, not only to expand our own uh, operation here, but bring in lots of experimental creative projects, give friends desks, people who are in journalism, people who are in jazz record production, people who are in eBooks. We basically get enough time to bring great creative friends in and see what happens when we all get together. Hi, my name is Carrie Miller and I'm a producer and network manager at Frederator Studios. Fred has a poster obsession. It's kind of legendary how much he buys posters, but it's cool. It works out for me because I like to look at them and he likes to buy them. So, <laughs> People that come here and have been to our old space are like, oh, it's this again. Famous cubes, yeah. We originally got them because we were in a slightly higher office space and it was very open like the space is and we were worried about the acoustics and they're actually acoustical absorbers. But they're a lot of fun because they've turned out to be the identifying thing. Then when we started building the office and we were looking for fun things to do, um, the designer who worked with us on the office, uh, Lisa Starfer, uh, found a company in England that had built a conference table out of Legos and it dawned on her that that'd be the right idea for Frederator, and here we go. When it came to the table, I think immediately people started figuring out that we would put Frederator logos in there. And I know a couple of people have made Frederators, but I also know that somebody made something from one of our shows called Adventure Time, and then another couple people I see are creating their own characters in there. So how much Frederator and how much other stuff shows up, I'm not really sure yet. That's one of the surprises of the project. It's gonna be a conference table. It's gonna be a place where people work, have meetings, yell at each other, uh, put their computers on it, and probably eat a little bit too. I wouldn't doubt that uh, in a year or so, um, when everyone decides they're a little bit bored, that we're gonna take it apart and start putting new designs inside. <laughs>